next bout. Faralla, 92 kilos. He is six feet tall. Up against the okay, tall timber at almost 6'3", Patrick Dietrich. For the National Anthem of Australia and the National Anthem of New Zealand, which will be sung by Shayla Samuels. Thank you. And the crowd will now stand for the National Anthem of both countries. Such a rich, her rich heritage. go the formalities out of the way and the trans tasman contest about to erupt so much heritage so much feeling between the anzacs for alarm from auckland new zealand patrick dietrich sydney australia Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is our trans Tasman heavyweight super fight. Scheduled for three two-minute rounds of action sponsored by Crooks and Castles. Introducing first, fighting under the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing white trunks with yellow and red trim. Weighing it at 92.9 kgs, representing Bulldog Jim in Manly, Australia. He is the MSA New South Wales 88 kg champion and K1 Thai boxing champion. He has 14 professional fights with six wins, eight losses. Introducing Patrick Dietrich. 
Unfortunately, Patrick Dietrich left a crucial piece of equipment backstage. He's just heading off backstage to strap it all into place. And uh, Dan, there is nothing worse than turning up without the essentials down below because in kickboxing, it can certainly be painful. Yeah, it's something you definitely had to go back and bear. There's something you, you cannot fight without. You remember to pack two things in your suitcase, that's your mouth guard and your groin guard. Those are the vital two pieces of equipment. Those are actually the only pieces of equipment you need to bring. Well, and we can see Dietrich, he come, he's coming back to stage now. That was uh, Dan the Hangman Hooker. Don't forget too, he will be fighting December 15 in Milwaukee against the lightweight number five, Edson Barbosa, and that will be a cracker. And I predict we'll see our second Kiwi fighter inside the top 10 of a UFC division. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Trans-Tasman Heavyweight Clash of the Evening, scheduled for three two-minute rounds of action. It is sponsored by Crooks and Castles. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing white trunks with yellow and red trim, weighing in at 92.9 kgs, representing Bulldog Jim in Manly, Australia. He's the MASA New South Wales 88 kg K1 and Thai boxing champion. He has 14 professional fights with six wins, eight losses. Introducing... Patrick Dietrich. And his opponent making his way to the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, representing New Zealand. Give it up for foul. Ah, Take me back where the water flows from your throat. Pour it out like I've never known. Spirit, lead me on. Where the river goes, laugh about. Sweep me away. Jump in the water. From EGK headquarters. Prepared very hard for this fight. They call him the fabulous one. He's improving with every bout quite easily make the cruiserweight limit. Heavy legs, puts his punches together very well. Slickly skilled. Down in front of the home crowd. Once again, Jason Suddy in the corner doing a great job. Both Introducing now, training. fighting out of the red corner. He enters the ring wearing black trunks with white and red trim, weighing in at 92.6 kgs, representing Elite Thai Kickboxing Headquarters. He is the WKBF Heavyweight Champion. He has 19 professional fights, 16 wins, 3 losses. Introducing Fabulous foul ah love. Fighters to the center ring, please, for Double John Conway's instructions. All right, fighters, first of all, we're fighting King of the Ring rules. First of all, you gotta listen to my instructions. I obey my instructions. When I call break, stop doing what you're doing, step away from each other until I say fight. Spinning back fists are allowed, knees to the head are allowed, no, no elbows. Both understand? Must both protect yourselves at all times. Shake him up, back in the corner, out at the bell. Well, they both weighed in just under the 93 kilo limit. Foa Alarm, though, he looks the bigger man of the two. She seems very impressed. Thanks, Cheryl. Welcome to New Zealand. Round one, 
I'm pretty sure she might have come over from Australia, actually. This is the wildlife king in the ring. Undercard fight, heavyweights. Underway, photo alarm to the left of your screen from ETK in Auckland. Looking to establish range. Patrick Dietrich just double forearm guard. Trying to pressure up, bridge the gap. Good check there, photo alarm would have felt that. Nice change up to the knee. Yeah, Dietrich starting with a very tight guard, walking forward, looking like he's uh, trying to pressure Alarm. So, interested to see how Alarm handles this pressure over the first minute and how he adjusts in the second minute of this round. So adjustment is key. You've got to accumulate data, not panic. Nice little uppercut on the inside. And uh, sometimes half a pace back and doubling back. Changing your angles, working laterally. Dietrich looks quite comfortable taking shots and trying to counter off that. Hooking with an overhand right, that's a very good punch that he does throw. Body kick right across the centre line. That kick was checked but put Olam off balance. Taken on the gloves. Anything you can do, I can do better. It's amazing how often, Dan, you see someone throw a spinning technique and ego forces people to try and throw the same thing back. Yeah, Dietrich's doing some good work on the front foot. Alarm uh, seems to be pushing him back at the end of this round. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments that Jason Suddy makes in between the rounds uh, to uh, Foles' game plan. His opportunity. He's got that tight double forearm guard just to bring them into the center, then loop around the outside. And at the moment, Alarm fighting off the back foot, trying to find a way to offset Dietrich, who with Nick Stone in his corner, the blue corner over there, looking to apply the pressure okay. and deny Foe any room. And he's still doing this a little bit. Yeah, not a lot of landing from Dietrich, you know, he, he punch, was pressing throw forwards, left, throwing shots constantly. Right, right. Not a lot yeah. landed clean on Alarm, power. so credit to Alarm's defense. Okay, so uh, let's round. see, let's you're see if he can make any adjustments as well. In this round. You're, you're going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but you're not really trying to hurt him too much, okay? So slamming some heavy low kicks. I want to see that liver shot, all right? Because he, he made him wince there, the knee, the liver, and the left body shot, okay? Breathe deep, and now keep up. He goes for your right knee, switch before your left knee, okay? He's open for knees. And good, when you, when you throw your hands, you finish with your legs, so you're doing good. You're doing good, good. Everything's good, everything's good. And so so when, you, when you do hit the outside body, you go outside body and so then uppercut, up, okay? Two. And if it's going, just slam, slam the feet across the, across the body, okay? Looking to create the gapping, gaps in that, or openings rather, in that cast iron One, guard. Two. Dietrich getting the call from Nick Stone not to put too much effort into the hands and look to use those to set up the low kicks. And there was that liver shot he also called for. Yeah, phenomenal advice from Jason Suddy there. The way you stop a pressure fighter getting in your faces, those knees up the middle, and also the uppercut. So let's look for Fold to make those adjustments as coach called for and really kill this pressure of Dietrich. Notice Dietrich too, he's trying to execute what his corner said as well. He's gone with the left knee, he's gone with the liver shot, looking to squeeze the uppercut up the middle. Following it to a T. Interesting fight. It's not just a battle of two fighters, it's a battle of two very experienced cornermen, trainers of multiple world champions. I'd just like to see Olam just put a little more, a little bit more sting on his left hand. He's fighting a, a rear guard defense. There was those, there were those knees that Sadi called for. And again. Just like to see him turn the knuckle over on those shots. Set his weight a little bit more occasionally. The pressure looks like it's starting to get to Alarm a little bit. Dietrich going to the body, starting to suck wind. Nice little hand control and right hook around the corner. Yeah, we were questioning the volume, you know, there's the heavyweight fights. Will they keep the same pace as the lighter weight guys? And it, it, Looks like they're keeping the exact same pace. These guys have been non-stop, bell to bell. Well, everyone clearly ate their wheat bix this morning. And I have to say, probably the, the changes to the weigh-in rules as well 
Meaning people are retaining their fitness a lot more through not having to heavily diet, dehydrate so much. This is a round for Dietrich for my liking. I think he's landing the cleaner shot, the cleaner and shots the and the more debilitating team. shots. Nick Stone will be very happy with him because he went to work well and executed the instructions. One of our corner men from earlier, very happy. Yeah, you've got to keep that pressure on him, okay? Yeah, let's listen to the next stone. Pressure him all the way through this round and just keep hitting him hard, hard with power. You're going to win the fight, okay? You're doing really well. Mate, this is you back in the game again. This is what I wanted to see. Well, just, that's right, that's it, that's it. That's right, you're looking really good. And just stay on him. Huh. Stay on You've got to win this fight. Plus. But when you finish with your hands, knee, okay? Okay? I don't care what knee it is. Knee, push, then, then look at the leg after, okay? Last round, big round, big round, big push, okay? Good energy, good energy. Okay, let's do it. Second down for the third and final round. Jason Sutter, interesting in the corner. You know, you, at times you see him highly animated. At times you see him calm. He, he, it depends on the fighter in front of him. Next time, very much the same. This fight, very much in the balance. I think possibly one round apiece. And Dietrich... The Australian in the white and yellow shorts being told to apply pressure and continue to break down the body of Alam. Spinning back fist. Alam starting more spiritedly. Eight a left hook there and that just set him on his heels momentarily. Just doesn't quite seem to have the power, Dan, to keep Dietrich off him. Yeah, that's where the knees come into play you know it's not it, knees are very sharp weapon so you don't need a lot of power a lot of energy to to stop a pressure fighter coming forward the punches finishing with knees is, is doing a far better job in this round from Alan. dietrich looking for the knees himself he's continued to use that left knee well grinding his head into the side of the jaw of alarm alarm looking for the uppercut looking for the knees off the hands Interesting technical battle between these two heavyweights. Both of them have fought as low as cruiserweight, so they've been able to maintain a good pressure. Dietrich moving forward, his mouth starting to open now, looking perhaps a little more fatigued. Clearly he has heavy legs, you can just hear them when they clatter against the body of Alarm. There's a nice right hand knee, right leg knee. Yeah, well, that was a good call from Dietrich's corner. You know, he, he was telling him to be non-committal in the first two rounds, and he saved it for this last third, uh, in this third round, where his coach told him, sit down on things, start throwing things a bit harder. This is the third round. It's time to empty the tank. Well, just 20 seconds to go. This is the first of our trans-Tasman bouts. Fo Alarm coming on. He's thrown more volume in this round, but Dietrich, for mine, a little more powerful. And he's been very much a forward pressure fighter. Judges have a job to do here. Dietrich looking confident, the man from Sydney, Australia, the Bulldog Jim. Bow Alarm straight back to his corner. Well, often the faces can tell a story, but a very difficult fight to score. Personally, edging it slightly the way of the Australian but it could go either way Dan do you have a call yeah very difficult one to call because the the not a lot was getting through each other's guard so I don't feel like either fighter landed a lot of clean shots so it's a very difficult one to score for our judges well in the third round and I think it came down to the third round alarm three more volume the trick he pressured a lot more and probably landed slightly cleaner. But volume versus clean shots landed. Let's see which way the judges will swing. All right, fighters to the center ring, please. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of heavyweight action, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision, where we find a unanimous decision winner. Or your winner fighting out of the blue corner, Patrick Dittrich.